Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about addition of integers. First of all, let us see how to add two positive numbers. Suppose we have two numbers plus 5 and plus 2 and now we want to add these two numbers. Then we will add 5 and 2 and thus we will get 7 and the answer 7 will take a positive sign. So we will get plus 7 which is simply written as 7. So to add two positive numbers we add the numbers. And the answer takes a positive sign. Now let's see how to add two negative numbers. Suppose we have two numbers minus 4 and minus 5 and we want to add these two numbers then we will add the number 4 and 5 and we will get 9 and the answer 9 will take the sign minus that is negative sign so we get minus 4 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 9 thus to add two negative numbers we Add the numbers and the answer takes a negative sign. Next, let us see what happens when we add one positive and one negative integer. Suppose we have two integers plus 7 and minus 3 and we want to add these two integers. Then we will subtract the two numbers that is we will subtract 3 from 7 and we will get 4 and the answer 4 will take the sign of the bigger number. Now here we will decide that which number is bigger ignoring the signs of the numbers. So from 7 and 3 bigger number is 7. So 4 will take the sign of 7 that is plus. So we will get plus 4 which is simply written as 4. Thus plus 7 plus minus 3 is equal to 4. Let's take one more example. Suppose we have two integers plus 2 and minus 9 and we want to add these two integers. Then we will subtract the two numbers that is we will subtract 2 from 9 and we will get 7. Now 7 will take the sign of the bigger number. Now here from 2 and 9 bigger number is 9. So 7 will take the sign of 9 that is minus so here our answer will be minus 7. Thus plus 2 plus minus 9 is equal to minus 7. So to add one positive and one negative integer we subtract the numbers and the answer takes the sign of the bigger integer. And the bigger integer is decided by ignoring the signs 
of the integers. Our next topic is addition of integers on a number line. First of all, let us add two positive numbers, that is 2 and 4. So let us make a number line. Now, we want to add 2 and 4. So, from 0, we will move two steps on the right. So, from here, we will reach at the point 2, moving two steps. Now, we have 4. So, we will move four steps from 2 and we will reach 6. So, we get that 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Now, let us add two negative numbers. That is, we will add minus 3 and minus 4. So, let us make the number line first. Now, we have first number minus 3. So, from 0, we will move 3 steps on the left of 0. So, we will reach at minus 3. Now, we want to add minus 4. So, from minus 3, we will move 4 steps on the left of minus 3. So, we will reach at minus 7. Thus, we get minus 3 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 7. Now, suppose we want to add one positive and one negative number, that is plus 5 and minus 2. So, let us make the number line. In this, first we have number plus 5. So, from 0, we will move 5 steps on the right of 0 and we will reach at 5. Now, we have number minus 2. So, from 5, we will move 2 steps on the left of 5. And we will reach at 3. Thus, plus 5 plus minus 2 is equal to plus 3. Again, let us add one positive and one negative number. Now here we will add minus 5 and plus 2. So we will make the number line first. In this, first we have number minus 5. So from 0, we will move 5 steps on the left of 0 and we will reach at minus 5. Now we add plus 2. So from minus 5, we will move 2 steps on the right of minus 5 and we will reach at minus 3. That means minus 5 plus plus 2 is equal to minus 3. So from this we can conclude that when a positive integer is added to an integer, the resulting integer becomes greater than the given integer. Also, when a negative integer is added, To an integer, the resulting integer becomes 
less than the given integer. Now let's see what is the additive inverse of a number. Here we have a number line and suppose we want to add two numbers 3 and minus 3. Then from 0 we will move 3 steps on the right of 0 and we will reach at 3. Now we have minus 3. So from 3 we will move 3 steps on the left of 3 and we will reach 0. That means 3 plus minus 3 is equal to 0. Similarly, we will get 2 plus minus 2 is equal to 0. So, numbers such as 3 and minus 3 2 and minus 2. When added to each other, give the sum 0, then they are called additive inverse. of each other. So here 3 is additive inverse of minus 3 and minus 3 is additive inverse of 3. So from this we can say that additive inverse of 5 will be equal to minus 5. Also, the additive inverse of minus 9 will be equal to plus 9, that is 9. Now, our last topic is subtraction of integers with the help of a number 9. Suppose, we want to subtract minus 2 from 5. So here we want to find out 5 minus minus 2. Now for this you need to remember one thing that to subtract an integer from another integer It is enough to add the additive inverse of the integer that is being subtracted to the other integer. So, to find 5 minus minus 2, we will add the additive inverse of minus 2 to the integer 5 and we will get 5 plus. Now, the additive inverse of minus 2 will be 2. So, we will add 2 to 5 now we already know how to find out 5 plus 2 with the help of a number line. Here our first number is 5. So from 0 we will move 5 steps on the right of 0 and we will reach 5. Now next we have 2. So we will move 2 steps on the right of 5 and we will reach at 7. So we get 
5 minus minus 2 is equal to 5 plus 2 which is equal to 7. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and keep smiling.